Hey guys, it's Damali Fields. Today I just want to share with you how I became a traveling hairstylist. So first, just let me say, it was not my intentions, it wasn't my dreams. Um, I never even thought about being a traveling hairstylist, it just, really just kind of happened. So initially, i um, been doing hair since I was 14, and I got licensed in Tampa, Florida at Paul Mitchell the School, where in Tampa I built a really large clientele, um, worked there for over 10 years, had a salon suite, and out of the blue, my husband got a promotion that was in New York. So he came home and told me, we're moving to New York in three weeks. I was like, oh my gosh, in three weeks? Like, I have a salon, I have clients, like, what in the world am I going to do? Uh, my clients were very understanding, closed the salon suite, and we moved to New York within three weeks which the move was very scary but turned out to be one of the best decisions I, we've ever made in our lives. So once I got to New York, um, you actually have to take the test over because of the education requirements are different, which is fine within the first three months. Got the new license, checked out a bunch of salons, and eventually decided that Indique Studios was the best place for me because they specialize in extensions, which I specialize in extensions and wigs. I uh, worked there for about a year, year and a half, and at another point in our lives, my husband got an even better job opportunity, which has happened to be in San Jose, California. So here we are again with another three week notice. Three must be our favorite number, I guess. Um, here we are again where I became established in New York, had a great clientele, worked with some amazing people, even celebrities, MTV, um, you name it. I was really doing well within that year and a half that we were in New York. Um, but me and my husband definitely believe that any opportunity for him or for me uh, individually is an opportunity for both of us. So I was more than willing to move to California where honestly, within a week of being there, I started working at a salon. The crazy story is, I was walking to Walgreens to buy something because it was right around the corner for where we were staying. Saw a salon, and I was like, hey, let me just go in. End up getting my hair shampooed because I wanted to check out the salon. End up liking the salon, liking the owner, and the next day I was doing a weave at the um, salon without even being licensed in California, which I am now licensed in. California, New York, and Florida. So, tri-coastal hairstylist, which is going really well so far. So the traveling part came in where I had clients in Tampa, Florida, and I had clients in New York, New York. So, because I'm so connected to my clients, I wanted to stay in touch, and I also wanted to just be there with them and not just leave them hanging with a three-week notice. And as a hairstylist, I'm sure you know that you can't just relocate and start working at a salon and have a fully booked schedule. It does not work that way. Which was a great thing for me that I could work anywhere and still be able to travel back to my clients and service them. And I also sell wigs. So another thing that kept me connected to my clients in each state was the fact that I mailed them out wigs that when I do go travel, I can still style their hair. So that's the story how I became a traveling hairstylist, which I travel to New York every six weeks, which some people may say it's a lot, but uh, I guess I would say my New York girls are a little high maintenance and because New York is so fast paced, people there may or may not lose the attention span versus my clients in Florida where there aren't so many hairstylists. Um, I go there every three to four months which works out a lot because all my friends and family are there and I get to visit them while I'm there. So that pretty much sums up how I became a traveling hairstylist. If anybody is interested in becoming a traveling hairstylist, feel free to comment below, ask questions. I love to share my experience. I love to hear stories of other traveling hairstylists. So just thank you for tuning in. Um, so now you know how Damali Fields became a traveling hairstylist. And just subscribe, follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. I follow back. Have a great day.